Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. Whiskers. Every cat has them. They are a noticeable feature on every cat's face and can range from long and whimsical to short and functional. However, have you given much thought about why your cat has whiskers, how they work, and other fun facts? Prepare to be fascinated. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe to our channel for more cat videos. Now let's explore some amazing facts about cat's whiskers. Number 1. Cat whiskers are very sensitive. Cat's whiskers are not just normal hairs. Not only are our cat's whiskers thicker than normal hairs, but they are also far more sensitive. Whiskers are made up of a type of protein called keratin, and they are more deeply embedded into a cat's skin than regular hairs. The end of the whisker, called the follicle, is connected to the cat's muscular and nervous system so messages can be transmitted from the whiskers to the brain. Each whisker also contains a proprioceptor, which is a sensory receptor that contributes to a cat's balance and movement. All of these contribute to making the whiskers incredibly sensitive. The whiskers are a very important feature of a cat's biology and allow it to be more aware of its surroundings. Interestingly, a cat's whiskers are as sensitive as human fingertips. Number 2. They are symmetrical. There are lots of examples of symmetry in nature, from a butterfly's wings to the shape of snowflakes, and cat's whiskers are no exception. The positioning of the whiskers is unique to each and every cat, but it's always symmetrical. Cats are typically born with 24 whiskers, 12 on each side. They are usually arranged in four horizontal rows of three whiskers each. While the total number of whiskers can vary, it could be less than 24, a cat will always have an even number of whiskers. The whiskers will also always be arranged symmetrically on a cat's face. Symmetry is very important as it allows a cat to get an accurate read on its environment. If there were more or fewer whiskers on one side than the other, the cat would not be able to understand and navigate its experience quite as clearly. Before we continue, can we just take a moment to admire Maggie's whiskers? Seriously, look at those impressive suckers. Number 3. They're very expressive. You can learn a lot about how a cat feels by looking at its whiskers. This is because a cat's whiskers are quite expressive and can tell you a lot, if you know how to read them. If a cat's whiskers are relaxed and are not holding any tension, it's probably feeling lighthearted and content. Forward pointing whiskers suggest that a cat is feeling alert and evaluating its environment. Whiskers that are pinned back indicate fear and nervousness. Cats can express their emotions through their whiskers' movements. Muscles in its face allow a cat to move its whiskers back and forth or up and down. This level of mobility adds in emoting. However, it's important to consider all of a cat's body language to get the most accurate understanding of how it's feeling. This includes the positioning of its ears and tail most notably. Number 4. Cats may experience whisker stress. Because a cat's whiskers are so sensitive, they can easily become quite overwhelmed if their whiskers are receiving too much stimulation. This phenomenon known as whisker stress is also known as cat whisker fatigue. This is a rather controversial subject, and it's debatable whether or not this is an actual phenomenon that cats experience. However, it is suggested that whisker stress occurs when a cat has to repeatedly rub its whiskers against its food or water bowls. A cat may begin to pace, act finicky, or not eat out of a bowl in response. As a result, there are a lot of whisker-friendly bowls for cat owners to purchase instead of traditional bowls. Some studies have been conducted to discover whether cats experience whisker stress, and the final consensus is maybe. There was some evidence in the study that suggests that cats do prefer whisker-friendly bulls, but there was not overwhelming evidence indicating that cats experience whisker stress. As of now, whether or not whisker stress is a real thing remains a debate. Number 5. Whiskers Aid With Night Vision It's no secret that cats tend to be quite active during the nighttime, particularly at dawn and dusk. Cats can successfully navigate dark environments during the night due to a combination of factors. First, they have much better night vision from their eyes than humans do so they can visually see a larger number of objects. However, their whiskers also contribute to a cat's ability to prowl at night. As mentioned, whiskers are extraordinarily sensitive. They also do not need light to function as they pick up on changes in the environment like air currents and temperature. So cats especially rely on their whiskers at nighttime to provide sensory input. Number 6. Whiskers Shed and Regrow Just like other hairs, whiskers grow and shed. Whiskers follow the lifespan of other hairs, going through the growth, dormant, and shedding phases. If you ever found stray whiskers around your home, let us know in the comments. As a side note, according to an old wives' tale, finding a whisker is good luck. While it can be concerning to find whiskers, don't stress, this is perfectly natural. When a whisker falls off, another one grows back in its place. It's more common for older cats to shed their whiskers. Though they may take some time to regrow, don't fret. However, if you notice an excessive amount of whiskers lying around, it may be an indication of an underlying health issue. If you're concerned about your cat's whisker loss, visit your veterinarian to get a professional opinion. Number 7. Whiskers aren't just on the face. The whiskers on a cat's face are the most noticeable and well-known, but they aren't the only whiskers that a cat has. Cats have other, shorter, and less noticeable whiskers in other spots too. 
If you look closely, you may find that there are more whiskers on the face other than those around the muzzle area. There are also short whiskers near the eyes, ears, and jaw. However, whiskers aren't just found on the face. There are also whiskers on the back of the cat's forelegs. These whiskers are known as carpal whiskers and they have quite an important purpose. For wild cats, the carpal whiskers are used to catch prey. Cats will often hold their prey in between their paws and their carpal whiskers allow them to know whether or not their prey is still alive or not. Pretty fascinating, right? Number 8. Whiskers help a cat understand its surroundings. While cats have an accurate far-sighted vision, their near-sighted vision is quite poor. Whiskers aid cats in understanding their surroundings. They provide much needed sensory input so your cat can create a more holistic and developed view of the world around it. Because whiskers are so sensitive, they can relay incredibly small changes in the environment. So they are especially useful to cats that hunt prey as they can aid with detecting the prey's movements and pinpointing its location. They also help cats visualize what they cannot see, what's right under their noses. Whiskers can aid cats to this extent because of their high levels of sensitivity. They detect extremely small changes in the vibrations of the air to situate objects in their surroundings. As such, whiskers are quite an essential part of a cat's life. They help make up for a cat's poor nearsighted vision and transmit necessary information to your cat to understand its environment. Number 9. You should never cut whiskers. As we've discussed, it's normal for whiskers to shed every once in a while. They will grow back. However, this does not mean that you should ever cut your cat's whiskers. You should never cut a cat's whiskers as it is extremely detrimental to a cat's well-being. Cats use their whiskers for balance and sensory input. In many ways, whiskers are essential in a cat's day-to-day -day life. Cutting or trimming whiskers will be very disorienting for a cat and will likely result in lots of confusion and fear. While cutting whiskers would not physically hurt your cat, it would result in a lot of mental and emotional damage. That's why it would be cruel to cut or trim a cat's whiskers. Whiskers function best when they are left to their own devices. Number 10. Whiskers can change color. You may be surprised to learn that whiskers can change color. The most common whisker color change that cat owners observe is graying whiskers. As cats age and start to develop gray hairs, their whiskers may be gray as well. After all, whiskers are hairs too. This can be compared to an elderly human's hair turning gray. Just like your cat's coat and muzzle will slowly go gray as it ages, its whiskers will too. You may notice your cat's whiskers getting lighter or darker with age depending on what color they were initially. Whiskers going gray is a normal and common occurrence that is nothing to worry about. It just indicates that your cat is getting older and wiser. Number 11. Whiskers protect a cat. Whiskers protect your cat in a variety of different ways. By providing your cat with a more in-depth understanding of the world around it, whiskers help prevent your cat from running into objects or getting stuck. However, whiskers also protect your cat in other ways. For example, the whiskers around a cat's eyes serve as a protective force, shielding the eyes from dust or debris. These whiskers, being extremely sensitive, can alert the cat to even the slightest movements or changes near them. This significantly reduces the likelihood of a cat getting hurt. In this way, whiskers act as a protective mechanism. Number 12. The word whisker has interesting roots. Just like the whiskers themselves, the word whisker is quite interesting. The word originated from the Middle English word whisker, likely around 1600. So the word itself is around four centuries old. Whisker means a sweeping or whisking movement. Around the 1670s, it's recorded as being used to describe animal lip hair, including a cat's whiskers. This is likely because a cat's whiskers can resemble a broom or other objects that make whisking movements. The scientific name for whiskers, vibrace, is also quite interesting. It's a Latin word meaning to vibrate. This is quite fitting as whiskers often twitch and move. Also, as we've discussed, whiskers are extremely sensitive to vibrations. Number 13. Kittens are born with whiskers. Surprisingly, kittens are born with a full set of whiskers. They may be small, but they are very useful. Kittens are born with their eyes closed, meaning they cannot visually perceive the world around them. Their eyes tend to not open until their second week of life. This is where whiskers come in handy. To kittens, whiskers act as a necessary connection to their environment. Whiskers help kittens to navigate their new world and keep them safe while their eyes are closed. That's why the first few weeks of life, kittens rely especially heavily on their whiskers. This goes to show how fundamental whiskers are to cats. So, which of these facts about whiskers did you find the most amazing? Let us know in the comments below. By the way, they say every time someone hits the like button, a cat finds a forever home. Okay, that's wishful thinking, but it's worth a try, right? Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next Catter Day for another video.